okay welcome back this is another video by your boy the pro cone geek and in this video today what we're going to be doing is we're looking at how to design columns in pro cone and for this video since it's going to be part one we are mostly going to be doing an introduction to this design of columns in pro cone and we're going to kick it off with rectangular design so the first thing that you want to do is you want to open your pro cone and then obviously it starts with home and then you come from home and then you end up with uh, concrete so under concrete what you need to do is you slide over uh you need to leave the beam section but what we're going to do is focus on the component section which is like the rectangular columns section so there are three column design modules i think i told you in the introduction to proco now what each module does but for today what we're doing is we're focusing on c11 which is rectangular column design so what you need to do is just open that up and there you have your interface which is new and nice and very pretty for you so what you want to do is obviously you want to save this and everything but we're going to look at that later so you want to designate the title of this so what we're going to do we're just going to have to call this column on um, 460 by 460 this is similar to the one that we did when we're doing our bases so let me just introduce you to what happens when you start when you get the input tab so now we have our title let's look at the inputs that we have so the first thing you're going to see when you come to your screen is edge this is the longer side of the column and what it does it already has some generic values common types of columns that you have in the field but in this case we're going to have to customize it for ourselves so we're going to put in 460 and then b this is the shorter side or the wider side of the column uh, h is the longer side b is the wider side so in this case we have a six this is a square column so it's going to be the same 460 and 460 now as you can see on the screen when you just pan to the right side of the screen you already have your section nice and clearly it's a 460 by 460 with the y and the x clearly labeled this is the beauty of program it's a graphic user interface that makes everything nice and clear and beautiful for you the next thing that you have is d or delta x uh dx this is the cover of your bars in the x direction so let me just put 30 because this is what you normally use for columns if you look at the bsa 110 so what it does is it puts our uh, generic bars for you we suggest uh like in this case it's suggesting six bars and what we did is we put uh sorry that was supposed to be 30 so we put 30 so it has a cover of 30 from the x and now dy also represents the cover from the y direction so that's 30 so it says 30 the 30 from the y if you want to pump it up to 40 let me just this is a graphic use it if you put it to 100 look what happens the y it moves uh 100 uh, millimeters in the y but we want to put it to uh 30 so you keep it at 30 but now you see what happens in the x as well let me show you if you do 100 that is what happens so let's stick back to 30 and then the next thing that you have is lo this is the effective length of your column this is self-explanatory if you need to read more on this you might have to do this this depends on your building and everything it's never the same for every column but for this building what we had did we even we had an effective length of 3.5 i'll just assume 3.5 for now because that's uh the level of the floor now uh uh the, this is the first floor it's a bit high but yes we're just gonna have to assume 3.5 and now the next thing that you have is fcu this is the characteristic strength of your concrete and as you know the most common one is 25 but most people now want to design for 30 so we're going to put 30 in there and then for fy if it's bs88110 what you have is 460 so we're going to pick 460 and then there's uh the next section after you're done with this um as you can see you need bracing uh so this is just basically telling the program if your column is braced in the x or in the y direction as well and in this case what we have is we normally design for braced columns what we want to do is braced structures are better than unbraced structures whether it's during earthquakes construction and everything else so what we usually do especially where i'm from you need to create shear walls every building that is a multi-story building has shear walls so it's braced in the x and in the y and uh the end condition these are for your supports this tells you uh, are your supports fixed partially fixed 
or it's pinned so for most multi-story buildings that you're going to design they're going to be pinned because you want continuity between your columns from the ground to the uppermost flow so uh, in both directions they're going to be pinned okay so let's pin the bottom as well and we pin the bottom then the next thing that you have is effective length factors this is what they call k in uh, other manuals or design books you might have read about so the effective length factor is basically just a factor that tells you how much of your column is going to buckle so if your column is braced this means that your factor needs to be less than one and if it's unbraced it has to be bigger than one so what we usually do is uh, if it's braced it's one or below that is to say your entire column will buckle right that is to say from the top to the bottom it will bulge out but uh in the in the code what we normally have is 0 0.75 as well that's what they put 0 0.75 this means that a three quarters of your column is going to bulge the other thing is not going to bulge right so but i'm going to put one it's a waste case scenario thing and now as you can see we do not have any errors so ladies and gentlemen this is it um, this is an introduction to the inputs that you need to put when it comes to your columns in the next video what we're going to do is we're now going to move to the load cases then we see the design and then we look at the bandit schedule so thank you very much for tuning in and this is your first video please please hit the subscribe button and if you're coming back hit the notifications button then we keep this in check wanted to keep it short keep you interested guys so just check out the next video it's right up click on my link click on my channel just subscribe till next time thank you very much